For 37 years, the waters off the coast of Massachusetts were a way of life for fisherman Bill Lee. Then, without warning, it all changed. Noah took a career that I enjoyed and put me out of business and laughed all the way to the bank. NOAA is short for the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the federal agency that oversees the $4 billion fishing industry. In 2009, it fined Lee $19,000 for catching about 20 extra codfish, nearly three years after he caught them, a fine he says that destroyed his one-man operation. You, they just took it away. Now dozens of New England fishermen charge their livelihood is at risk, sinking under the weight of 700 pages of confusing federal regulations. Section B goes on line one with section two, and section B goes with line four of section one. Now that's just to tell you you can land 800 pounds. I mean, you almost have to have a college degree to, to, to understand what's really going, going on in this industry. Richard Burgess says Noah told him he had to pay $27,000 because of a problem with his paperwork. They just said if I try to fight it and it goes in front of one of their judges, then I most likely will, the fine will be between one hundred and twenty dollars and $140,000. An investigation by the Commerce Department's Inspector General found the regulations were unduly complicated. Federal agents overzealous and abusive. Excessive fines, including one for $270,000 for administrative errors. You know, we've been honest, hardworking people, and we've been treated as, as uh, common criminals. The inspector general also found the $30 million the fishermen paid in fines went to a NOAA fund with no oversight, used by regulators to buy more cars than there were agents, to pay for trips to fishing conferences in exotic locales such as Australia, Malaysia, and Norway and to purchase this $300,000 luxury vessel used by government employees for fishing trips. And according to this memo obtained by CBS News, while under investigation, NOAA officials in Washington had a shredding party destroying garbage bags full of documents. The shredding truck pulled up right outside that building, NOAA's enforcement headquarters, where the agency's top cop later admitted he destroyed 75 to 80 percent of his total files. An investigation found the shredding violated five federal regulations, but no evidence of obstructing justice. The man was later removed from his job, but remains at NOAA as an analyst, still making a six-figure salary. We've taken aggressive steps. We Eric Schwab is the new head of fisheries at NOAA. He came to the agency last February from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, armed with a mandate for change. We've worked hard over the last year uh, to identify those problems, to address those problems, and to rebuild that uh, trusting and productive relationship that we need with fishermen. It is crucial. For some, like Senator Charles Grassley, change can't come soon enough. I want uh, to make sure that heads roll, because, you know, in a bureaucracy, if heads don't roll, you don't change behavior. Now a judge is reviewing at least 31 cases of fishermen caught up in the government's net to see if some of the fines should be returned. Armin Kate and CBS News, Washington.